local, live, late breaking. This is KMAX News at 10. The man who helped Buddy Holly write mega hits and started with him as a drummer in the crickets has died. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Jerry Ivan Allison, or just J.I., wrote That'll Be the Day with Buddy Holly, and that was just the beginning. His talent and contributions to the rock and roll world will not be forgotten. And KMAX Ryan Chandler met up with one of his friends tonight. Brian, Lauren, that's right. Jerry Allison met Buddy Holly in the 50s. They actually started playing together before adding bassist Joe B. Malden. The trio then formed and, of course, was named the Crickets. Allison was born in 1939, and his friend and fellow musician Larry Byers saw all of this firsthand. He sat down with me tonight to talk about his friend, and talking to Larry was like witnessing a living piece of Lubbock history. That's Jerry Allison right there. In 1983, at the Willie Nelson picnic, that's me. I was, a, I was at KFYO in 1983, and these people won the trip from the radio station, and they assigned me to accompany them to Atlanta, Georgia. The only picture I have of him and me together is, there's Buddy Holly in 55, the class of 55. That's Gary Allison right there. There's Jerry, his sophomore year in high school, right there. He was a great drummer even back then, you know, in the high school band. Jerry, of course, went on to co-write That'll Be the Day, their first hit on their first album, which reached number one on the Billboard chart. He also wrote More Than I Can Say and Peggy Sue, who Larry played in the band with, along with Jerry, all the way from Matthews Junior High until the Westerner Band at Lubbock High School. And when we asked Larry what his favorite part about Jerry was, the answer was obvious. He was drumming, mainly. <laughs> he had quite a personality. He was a little bit on the ornery side at times. <laughs> but he was a real nice guy, you know. And everybody knew everybody back, back there at Lubbock High at those days. Uh, uh, with Joe B. Malden was in the class, and Larry Wellborn, who was with Buddy Holly, was going to Lubbock High. Peggy C. was there. Ralda English, Mac Davis, uh, all sorts of people were at Lubbock High. There's a lot of people that we didn't know would be famous that went on to better and better, bigger and better things. Jerry continued to play with the Crickets after Buddy Holly died, releasing 13 albums between 1960 and 2005, working with the likes of Paul McCartney and Eric Clapton. Allison was 82 years old and the last remaining member of the Crickets. But in people like Larry, he's still got good friends in Lubbock. Definitely true. And